Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash, and double honors to the apostles, the elders, the GMS who rule well. The peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, the GMS Arkansas, man. When you come out week in and week out, prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, man. AKA Babylon, AKA Egypt, Sodom and Gomorrah. We are here for the elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, Judah, the so-called Negroes, Benjamin, the West Indians, Jamaicans, Levi, the Haitians, Reuben of the Seminole Indians, Gad of the North American Indians, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, and it goes down to Zebulon, which is Guatemala and Panama, right? And then you got the Simeonites, who are the uh, Dominicans, Ephraim of the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, Ashes, Colombia to Uruguay, and Naphtali is Argentino to Chile. Okay, these are the 12 tribes of Israel who our big brother Yahweh Shai is coming to redeem one third of the elect, two thirds are set up for the destruction, right? And this is an artist rendition according to Revelation, the first chapter of how Yahweh Shai looks, man, right? Garment down to the foot, right? Hair, wool, eyes red, skin bronze. Breastplate, everything. This is the artist rendition, man. From Revelations, the first chapter, on how he looks. You know? Uh, let's see here. Who this is? Right there. Come. Come, and we out here for the elect and elect only. And that's in, in, in this last time that we're in, we're 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 out here prophesying the downfall of the wicked kingdom, right? And uh, this is uh, Jeremiah 28. Jeremiah 28, 8. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence, man. So the prophets that came before us, man, right? When you see the names Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Ezra, them prophets that came before us, man, all them names you see in the Bible, Habakkuk, you know, Peter, Matthew, Yahweh himself, Moses, all of all them Abraham, they were all prophets, man. You know, Samuel. You see those names, they prophesied against the kingdoms that they were in. Against a uh, uh, war and of those evil times that were gonna come in the, in the pestilence, man. And we are here again, and it's 2018. We're out prophesying now, man, because this kingdom, hey, it's, 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 it's short-lived, man. It's gonna be over for uh, uh, the society, man. And, and the rule of the so-called white man and his society, his rulership is about to come to an end by the hands of Yahweh Basha and Yahweh Shai, man. So the Lord, it says, the prophets have been before the before the old prophesy against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Is not America great a great kingdom? We come out on the highways and byways week in and week out. We lift a finger up against them, man. We lift up a standard, the banner, which is the scriptures, and telling them their condemnation. And we're telling the elect their salvation draw up near, man. It's nigh, man. You know? So that's what it's all about, man. We in that time, it's all about, when we put these videos out, it's, it's, it's for the elect, man. You know, because uh, uh, the, the Lord told you in Isaiah, the sixth chapter, man, he blinded the eyes of some of these people, man. You know, he closed their ears, man, and shut the, uh, closed their eyes and shut their ears, man. So this is not for everybody, man. Everybody's not gonna understand this truth. They're not gonna understand these scriptures, man. You know? It's all about the elect, man. Uh, who are when you when you go into the, those men, those elect men, those are basically the chosen, the ones chosen for salvation through the, through a, a divine mercy, man. It's Latin electus, man, and the Greek el el eclectos, meaning chosen out, man. So the Lord Himself, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh chose chose a certain uh, uh, group that is among Israel for himself, right? The scriptures tell you that he didn't really choose everybody. That's the misconception of our people. 
they think like everybody. They think like the Lord is just for everybody that's walking around on the planet. The scriptures tell you that his firstborn he chose was a nation of Israel. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's kids. The Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. And he has a chosen out of those, man. Because all our people are not going to get right, man. Two thirds, two thirds of our people, they just tell them, two thirds, the Lord say one third of all these people right here are going to have that salvation when he come back. That's a lot of people now. So that let you know if he say two thirds going to die, a lot of our people ain't going to ever get right. No matter what you tell them, what kind of advice you give them, it's going to go in one ear and out the other. Some people, you could tell them and it'll stay with them. And when it's time for it to click, they that faith and they're going to have it. But everybody, it's a lot of people, man. They're going to get messed up. <laughs> you know? So it's all about the elect. When you look in the scriptures and you see that name elect, it's, it's a Greek word in the New Testament. Eklektos, meaning the ones who are chosen out of that nation that he, he loved. But you have you have other nations now. They're, everybody's playing a part. Like this is like a movie. This whole world we in is like a movie. Everybody has a part. When your part, your script, you're playing your script. If your script is for you to be saved, you're gonna be saved. If not, you're not. You have a lot of people. They uh, their script is to to die on this side, man. You know, that's why you have people getting shot, getting stabbed, getting killed. You have evil. That's part of their their life. But the elect are that chosen that's going to get that salvation through this divine mercy of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai. Uh, let's see here. Isaiah. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 45. Let's get that Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45 and 4 and it says for Jacob my servant say and Israel mine elect I have even called thee by thy name I have surnamed thee though thou hast not known me so the Lord it says though you have not known me he surnamed you because a lot of like we didn't we didn't know who the Lord truly was I didn't know who the Lord truly was to so, uh uh, a few years back, I didn't know who the Lord was, his son, his name. I knew there was a presence, but I didn't know the name to call on. You know, even though, you know, the Lord chose some from the foundations, when that time comes, they're going to wake up to know. But before then, they're not going to know, man. You know, that word elect right there, mine elect, right? Now, I'm going to get that word elect. Uh, that was New Testament, no, Old Testament, Isaiah 45 and 4. That word right there, elect. Okay, mine elect. Uh, it's uh, Hebrew 972. Bachayar, Bachayar, right? It means chosen, choice ones. Chosen one, elect of the most high. Chosen. The elect. Uh, it says, of the people of Israel, Isaiah 45 and 4, of the pietists and prophets, the elect, Right? So that word, it says, for Jacob, right? Jacob is, is the son of uh, the chosen one of Abraham. I mean, Isaac, because Isaac had two sons, Esau and Jacob, right? He had Esau and Jacob, right? He had Esau and he had Jacob, right? Esau is the progenitor of the Edomites. Right? Who are the so-called white people? When you go into the word Edom, it means under woman in the Hebrew means red. Right? And Esau is the progenitor, the father of the Edomites. Jacob being the father of the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Indianos. 
right? Jacob. And that blessing that went to Jacob, that we would have dominion, we would rule, it goes to those 12 tribes, man. You know? Uh, uh, Zachariah. Zechariah 13 and 8. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in the land, said the Lord Yahweh, that two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So those two parts he's talking about, when you look up two thirds, that's 66.67% .67 of the Israelites that are in the world. Because Israel was scattered when you read in Deuteronomy 28 chapter, uh, uh, around the 64th verse, we were scattered all over the world, right? So two thirds of the people are gonna be destroyed of Israel, man. That's of his own people, the ones he chose for his chosen, the ones he loved, but he has an all-star cast that comes out of that, that's gonna be called the remnant, the elect, man, eclectos. The chosen, the choice ones. It says, but the one third shall be left therein, that one third being the elect. Right? He said, I will bring the one third through the fire, right? Meaning when that thermonuclear destruction comes, there's gonna be the elect will be getting beamed up through that fire, man. Also, he's going to bring us through the fire prior to that thermonuclear destruction. He's bringing us through the fire of coming out here on the highways and byways, dealing with the elements, man, and dealing with the conditions, dealing with the people, man. We have to deal with our, our, our everyday life. We come out here, you have to, uh, 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 you be thinking like, man, can I lose, lose my job because I come out here to preach the truth? Because when you out here, you don't know if your boss will see you or whatnot, your, 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 your supervisors. Then you have to deal with your families, your, your, your uh, old ladies. Satan will jump on her like you ain't giving her enough time. Why you going out there doing that? Satan will jump on her, man. You know? We deal with these conditions, man. We stand on concrete. This is a Roman Empire, man. That's why it's, it's filled with concrete. Ain't no splinter in this place, it's just concrete. It looks like the old Greek and Roman days. And we standing on this pavement. That's part of these conditions and afflictions, man, in this society. The food is no good, man. The water is tampered, the food is tampered. We have to deal with that, man. Deal with being sick all the time, man. Then when you get sick, the stuff they give you is worse, man. You, you, can't, take, you can't take medicine in this society, man. Oh, it's gonna be some side effect, man. It's gonna be worse than the actual uh, ailment that you have, man. You know? It says, uh, let's go to Romans. Let me go to Romans 11 and 5. Roman 11, Roman 11 and 5, and it says, Even so, then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace, man. Right? So in order for you to be saved in this time, you have to have faith, man. And it's got to be a gift from the Lord, Yahweh Vashem, Yahweh Shai. Through grace, through Yahweh Shai, man. That's the only way. Cause you have a lot of people. They uh, they'll go to uh, they'll go to church on Sunday, right? And they'll they'll run up to the altar. They'll fall down and shit. And then they'll be saying they saved. But the Lord told you in John 15, I called you. You ain't called me. So how are they saved? What they're saved from? Martial law hasn't started yet. The thermonuclear destruction hasn't came. That that great sedition among men that that's prophesied in the Bible it hasn't came. You know. And it says, Romans 11 and 5, even so, then is a remnant according to an election of grace, man. 
Now what's that uh that grace, man? Let's look at that what grace is. Romans 11 and 5. It's a lucky man if it's taking time, but hey, I'm just taking my time, man. Make sure through the spirit and power, y'all by Shem Yahweh shot it, man, that I get this lesson out and, 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 and you know, we push the word the right way, man. We look up words, man. You know? It's all about teaching the elect, man. Uh, that word, grace, that word grace is charis. Uh, that which affords joy, pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, loveliness, grace of speech, God, goodwill, loving kindness, favor. Of the merciful kindness in which the Most High exerting his holy influence upon souls turn them to Yahweh Shai, keep strength, increase in their, their faith, knowledge, and affection, and kindles them to an exercise of a, a Christian value. Right? A spiritual condition of one governed by the power of divine grace. It's a divine influence, man, of the mind, man. For you to think upon your how about Shemiah Shai, right? It's that divine influence of the mind. That's what grace is. Right? And it says, uh, it says, even so at this present time, it, there is a remnant according to the to the election of grace, man. So, like I said, man, you have to be saved. You have to have that faith. Faith is faith is faith is very very important, and we're gonna need that faith in the times that are coming to America, man. If we don't have that faith, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for you to be saved. You have to have that faith and that belief. That's the main thing in believing, man. That's just like when you take a pill. If you take a pill for something, you really believe that that pill is doing what it's what the doctor said it's gonna do. Even though it's gonna give you a adverse side effect, but you do believe it's curing that that particular thing, the ailment that you have. That the stronger that belief is, and you taking that pill, then then you start to be healed, man. It's all about a belief, man. And that's what it's about, man. Believing is true. It's the only way you're gonna be saved, man. Let me get Hebrews 11 and 1. The book of Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? So, faith is that substance of things hoped for, that realization of things hoped for. What's hope? The expectation, man. Something good or bad. We, ex we the expectation we have is that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is gonna save us, man, from this destruction that's coming to America. We have that faith that He's gonna save us. It says the things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So it's the conviction of things not seen, man. We're 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 hoping for this salvation, which no one knows how it's gonna come, and because you haven't experienced it yet. See, people hope for things that they, they see. When you read in Romans 8, it tells you. Uh, I go back there. Romans 8. 8. Romans 8, 24. It says, For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is no hope. So these things that you see are temporal things, man. People hoping in cars and houses and, and, and monetary things because you see you can you can ride around and see these big beautiful houses and, and nice cars and that's what you hope for. You hope for things that are like basically temporal. These things that are eternal, you have no clue, so you don't hope for it. Because why you, you lack faith? It says, "For what man seeth, why doth he hope yet hope for it? But if hope, if we hope for." It, that we see not, then do we wait with patience. We wait for it, man. We perse perseverance, man. We eagerly wait for the things, we eagerly waiting for this, this, uh, this, this kingdom of heaven to come, man. 
So we, we persevere, man. We, we're being diligent to, to keep studying, to keep teaching. You know, being earnest, man. Try to stay in this faith. Stay pr uh, prayer, man, which helps. You know, doing the things you're supposed to do that the scriptures say, fasting, being brotherly, having charity, you know, being brotherly in the brotherhood, man. You know, studying, reading, getting into the, to, to knowing you a Hebrew Israelite, you know. So, this is, this is, we have that faith that, that Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is basically getting ready to bring us out of this uh, last captivity that we're in here in America, man. We're getting ready to be lifted up out of here in a miraculous kind of way, man. You know? And it's totally uh, based on uh, faith, man. Let me get Romans 11 and 20. I think that's one. Uh, Romans 11 and 20. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. So it's based on faith, man. You know, the Lord, the Lord sealed you with that gift of faith, man. The elect men are sealed with that gift of faith. Uh, let me read that. And let me get that in Ephesians. This is uh, Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, man. See? It said, By grace are you saved through faith. So you have to have that faith in these things that are that, that are uh, that you haven't seen, man. You have to have faith that 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 the Lord is gonna come down and basically uh get you out of all the situations that you're gonna be in in the time of Jacob's trouble. Because Jacob's trouble is coming when you read Jeremiah 30. So you have to have faith that the Lord is gonna actually uh, uh provide for you a way in that day when all hell breaks loose. When they try to, well, if you have to go into a uh, concentration camp, you have to have that faith that the Lord is going to deliver you out of that camp, man. 